Hello, fellow crafters and paper artisans. It's Chandra with Stockton Stuff. I am here for the Tropical Cookout collaboration hosted by Poet Spice. This is our last Saturday of July uh, showing things that we made for this collaboration. And the theme is either like cookout, picnic, tropical. And so you see me do a little bit of both this month. And um, my last thing I decided to do was something kind of picnic-y. So I went through my files, my SVG files, because I have them very organized and I have a ton of them, just like I have paper and dyes and all that. And so I had a Barely Arts, um, you know, they have free SVGs on their site if you don't know that, but I had a Barely Arts um food set that was called, uh, I think called Recess Treats. And so I used that and did a picnic theme. So I pulled out my Fun Stamper's Journey Market Tote Die Set because it just always reminds me of a picnic basket. I pulled out my Paper Tree Inks Fruits. No, this one is, I guess it's called Fruit Salad Sentiments. But I don't own the fruit because I have a lot of that. So it's just got these stamps, these say, uh, sentiments. And I used, um, what did I use? I used uh, Celebrating Summertime. So I mixed up two, two of the different. I mean, they're not connected, so you can use them however you want. I used my Tim Holtz Sizzix, um die stamp and I used the sun. And I used um, a Rong Rong um, Hampton Art Rong Rong stamp. And I don't know what this one is called. I don't even know if they have names, if they're just numbered. But um, I used Eat, Drink, and Just Relax. And so I just made two cards because, you know, I'm always making like birthday cards. And so I thought I'd do something different. Um, so I, this is a, a piece of Echo Park paper from like, um, the four, it was a 4th of July type collection that I have and I'm, I only have a few sheets left. And so I just cut into it and I figured I'll use the rest to make some other cards. So I decided to do blue and red and I made, um, I cut the basket from just this piece of wood, like scrapbook paper. And I just trimmed a piece of red um, and blue to go behind it because the basket just really trimmed cuts out with the squares and since I was backing it on this um this print I didn't want it to be too busy so what comes with the set is a sandwich a milk carton orange and a burger or I guess it could be like a a hoagie type of thing but I sized it down a little bit because I wanted it to fit on my card number one and um and then I layered I popped up each layer of the sandwich because there's the cheese and the lettuce and the tomato I guess and then the bread has two layers and I except for the first layer of the bread I popped up every layer of um of that with just a thin piece of foam tape and I popped up the basket and then I had it like the, the milk carton. And I didn't put, it comes with the word milk on it and I didn't add it because, you know, it could be a juice or or something else. I could have made it another color though. And so I, I put those there and popped up the basket and then the sandwich I did flat. And I pretty much, oh, and then there's that stamp and I just added some stickles. And this is a Stampin' Up um, punch. And then I just layered it with a red piece. And then I did pretty much, I just rearranged it a different way, but I put them together the same way. And this is a banner die, which I think is also, no, that's a Stampin' Up banner die. And um, there's my son from my Tim Holtz Sizzix die. I added some stickles. And, um, and then there's the Celebrating Summertime from the Paper Tree Ink. I haven't put anything on the inside yet. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I don't even know what I'll use them for, but I thought they came out cute. So, um, there is my contribution for this week. And thanks so much for watching. Please check out the other collaborators, 
Um, I do have them listed below in the description box. We'll see you next month for something else fun on Saturday morning. So stay tuned. Have a great day.